Hey, what's up with you guys? Hey, welcome back to another video. Now, this one's going to be going over uh, Warcraft logs. Specifically, I'm going to be going over uh, Warcraft logs for Classic, but this is basically relevant in the way the site also works for retail. If for some reason you're looking up stuff on retail, also, this should be relevant for any class um, looking up information you basically are just going to be using different filters than what i'm doing um, but with that being said we're going to go through three ways you can really look up stats information things on um, warcraft logs via first the top performers uh, on a given fight or given raid uh, second we're going to look up how to to find individual people if there's some one specific person you're trying to look up how they're doing or follow or emulate what they're doing and then thirdly we're going to go through how to look up specific bosses so if you're struggling on one boss in specific you can look up the top performers on that specific fight and see what those guys are doing to maximize their dps now First, let's go through. We're here at classic.warcraftlogs.com. I'll put a link down below. Also, I should preface this with um, not every person is going to show up on this. Your guild has to actually actively do uh, the logs and upload the logs. Uh, it's a pretty simple process once you have the uh, information downloaded. I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there going through that. But just be aware if your guild doesn't log, then you're yourself not going to show up on here, but it's still a really good source for you guys to look up information. So we clicked here on the uh, uh, top performers under bwl as this is the current raid tier and we hit damage or dps so this is going to tell us people that are doing the highest overall dps for the entirety of the raid now what we're going to do here is under this dps tab at the top these are basically all the filters you could be using i'm going to go ahead and filter specifically balanced druids that way it pulls up the top performers just in the spec that i am looking at so i can see how i compare to other people in the same role now what we'll see here is at the top we have Keithy and Onslaught. You can see here he averaged a total of 559 DPS in a 40 man raid, and the duration of the entire raid was 47 minutes 54 seconds. Now, this is obviously going to change a lot as certain people are clearing the dungeon way quicker than others. Obviously, there's a lot of implications to these numbers, so it's important to come from a, a, a kind of a, an analytical perspective a little bit here just to figure out because there is kind of rhyme or reason to why numbers are varying a lot. Now, one other thing to point out is that the fights themselves within each raid are going to tailor to certain classes or certain buffs and mechanics within each fight can skew these numbers a lot so it's important to be aware of that for example i do know that keithy has one of the highest parses on veil straws because he got burning adrenaline and got 12 instant cast starfires in his top parse on that fight now not to you know downplay any of of what he is doing right but it's important just to be aware that there are things that that's obviously significantly going to skew the numbers if he's got a 1200 dps parse on veil straws well that's obviously going to be averaged out over the entire raid but that's going to bring his overall dps up significantly to someone that hasn't gotten burning adrenaline at all on that fight right so it's important just to kind of think of things like that and you can look up all these specific fights now we'll use kivi for an example here if we want to go ahead and click him on this run you can see we have damage done is going to show up as obviously what's kind of um highlighted here initially and then we can see this is overall damage done for the entire raid these are all the bosses the trash should not be included in this you can um i think you can do some other filter it doesn't look like it's pulling oh here encounters and trash fights but we're not really interested in that we just want to see the boss kills that's really the important information right so over the combined total of all the bosses he did 336,000 damage over here on the right hand side and again the duration of the raid you can see here is 45 what is this 47 minutes and 35 seconds so his overall dps for the entire raid is basically the entire duration that's being logged as well as the damage done and then they're dividing it so that's how that number is being calculated in this tab warcraft logs is a very powerful tool and there's all kinds of different ways and angles you can look at information so what i'm sharing with you guys is what i think is kind of the easiest most concise way of doing it where it doesn't get super super confusing now let's use keefe here for an example we'll click him again on this damage done tab then you can see on the course of the entire raid what his actual output was you can see he had 154 star fire casts you can see he also had 33 wrath casts he had one goblin sapper charge that he had used as well as 12 moon fires now any of these you can click or unclick which will basically change the filter um, as far as showing you in the timeline here what's actually showing up 
So if you're trying to look at anything specific, you can do that. You also can go up here to encounters and we can look up specific fights. So let's look up Veil Straws here. For example, you can see here that he had 18 Starfire casts on Veil Straws specifically. Now you can see what happens is that these casts, if we click this cast bar at the top, so damage done is gonna show us how much of the damage is being done by each spell. Cast will actually show the actual inputs um, being done by that person. But you can see here, like I had said, he had had the Starfire cast spaced roughly three seconds apart, three seconds apart, three seconds apart. And then 16 seconds into the fight, all of a sudden these casts are one and a half second apart for 12 consecutive casts. So this is an example. He got burning adrenaline, I'm sure, right here, and then got a bunch of instant cast Starfires right before they were able to kill the fight pumping up his overall damage and DPS on the fight to just under 1200 DPS, which is obviously massive. So it's important to be able to use this cast buff, or sorry, this cast um, filter here to really see this. will also show you things like potion uses, um, any kind of, you know, significant cooldowns, bark skin, things like that. Any actual inputs that are happening during the fight will actually get logged. Now, the last thing that I use to really filter, actually second to last thing here is the buffs. Now, the buffs category is really helpful to look at because exactly in this scenario you can see things like power infusion or other things like that what kind of buffs people have now from my understanding at least in everything that i'm able to look up because i'll even look up my own logs world buffs are very finicky with whether they show or not as well as flasks um, and other consumables so from what i understand the flask will not show unless the flask has fallen off or was cast during the fight itself so that's another thing that's really important from a caster perspective to take into consideration because melee dps don't have a flask that's going to significantly bump their dps output but for casters we do and if there's someone that you're trying to compete with on logs and they're always flasking and you're not you might not be able to see that in this buff category um, if anyone is aware of how you can actually accurately check that, I can't for the life of me figure out where I can reliably find that information um, on logs. And as I said, I think it's just if the flask falls off or is consumed during the fight, it will show up on that fight. But outside of that, it's not showing up from everything that I'm able to check. But again, something you can see here, how many nature grace procs you got, things like that. The last piece that I really go through here is I click the summary. Now the summary tab will show you the items that they have equipped on that given fight. You can also click the summary for a specific person with all of the fights and it will show you the gear that they used for the entire raid. However, there are a couple fights that are a little bit buggy with this. I know Nefarian, for example, doesn't show any items for some reason. So like if we click here and we go to Nefarian, it's showing his damage done still. So, this, so certain things, I think this has to do with the fact that you're killing the ads in the beginning and it kind of bugs it out. But um, for most of the fights, you can use this summary tab and see what gear people are using. A good one, for example, would be like Fire Maw, right? Where there's fire resist gear. We can see here his his items that he's has equipped completely change from this fight to Veil Straws. Um, so anyway, that's a really good, helpful way of kind of looking at it. Now, these filters and these things that I look at are basically the same across the board, depending on whether I'm looking at top performers, whether I'm looking up a specific person or whether I'm looking up a specific fight. So all this information you can apply to these later portions of the video here um, and, you know, filter it that way now. So let's go back to the homepage here. Back here at the homepage, there is a search bar. I know it's a little bit off the screen for you guys, but we're gonna look up our boy Ribsy here on EU Earthshaker. Now, Ribsy is constantly a top performer. He does very, very, very well, um, very consistently. So he's a good person to kind of check and see what he's doing to try and emulate what he's actually doing performance-wise. You can see here, it gives us two summaries. The top right here is Molten Core with rank 23, meaning he is the 23rd best balanced druid as far as parses and performance go in Molten Core. And then you can see over here, he's got a 92 in BWL. Now these are overall parses, so it's a, a combined effort between all of the fights. You can see down here, this is only gonna show BWL. It doesn't show the past raid, like the, the old raid content. It's gonna always be the current raid content, but you can pick any of these fights. So for example, uh, if we wanna look at how he did on Fire Maul, you can see here his best parse was a 99, which means he basically was the top 1% of performers um, on this fight. His highest DPS was 253, rank 40 on this fight specifically. So let's go ahead and we'll click Fire Maul. It's gonna pull up all of his parses on Fire Maw, so you can kind of see based on the date and things like that. It's like, okay, well, he got a really good parse on this fight, so let's go ahead and we'll click the 99 parse here, and then we can pull up this individual 
fight itself, right? It's showing that he did 35,000 damage, 253 DPS. Now let's click Rivzi again. We can see he used Wrath and he used Moonfire on his damage done. Now let's look at the summary and we can see what gear he had equipped during this fight. Now you can see he's got his T1 helm and it looks like not too many other fire resist items, right? Then we can go down here to the cast. We can see, okay, he got one fire protection potion. I'm gonna assume he also had another one pre-potted, so probably had two fire protection potions during this fight. As we can see, this one was cast almost 30 seconds into the fight with that green line. It's showing or hiding as I click this, right? Again, just a helpful way to kind of see, and you can kind of do this with however many people you want um, to kind of filter through different stuff. Now, uh, this kind of goes over how you look up a specific person. You use the same tools. Now let's go back to Warcraft Logs. And if we want to go ahead here and click uh, DPS. Come on, come on. Um, what we can do here is we'll do the same filter we did earlier, right? Where we have uh, Druids. Well, let's do Balanced Druids. And then over here on the left where it has complete raids, you're gonna click this drop down menu and then you can click any boss that you want. Let's use Fire Maw for the consistency of examples here. And you can see this is gonna show you the top performers on specifically Fire Maw. Now, one thing that's important to look is on the far right here, you guys can see this, it does show trinkets. One thing to look up here is the top performer has two melee trinkets. That seems very weird. So let's look up here. We go to Tiger, we hover over, he's got Shred, Melee, Ferocious Bite, and Claw. So obviously it bugged out on this fight for whatever reason, and he is obviously a Feral Druid, but it categorized him in the Balanced Druid parses. So be aware of that, that there are some little finicky things that the logs will bug out on and categorize people, you know, not correctly. Now, Al Ned, this is new. I think this is from must be from a recent fight because I don't recognize this name. But we can look at him here. Let's go ahead and click on Owl. Damage done. He had mostly Starfire. Again, we can look up the casts here. Same thing, Blazing Emblem. You can see he popped almost 15 seconds into the fight. Let's go to his summary here. Is he rocking Fire Resist? What's he got going on? Full Fire Resist set here. He's got Flare Core Mantle, Drake Fire Amulet, all kinds of Fire Resist stuff. Blazing Emblem, things like that. So... Anyways, uh, that's kind of the last way that you can filter through this information. Um, I use these all the time, uh, look up people constantly trying to figure out who's doing the best and things I can be doing to improve my own gameplay. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Um, again, this tool is so, so complex and can get really, really detailed. Let me know you guys if there's any information you guys like to look at that I didn't mention in this, um, but I felt like this is kind of the easiest, quickest way to consolidate a bunch of information and not get too overwhelming or confusing for you guys. So let me know if you guys have any questions uh and that being said i'll catch you guys in the next stream we're gonna be streaming later tonight at the time of posting this video so uh thanks for hanging out guys i appreciate it and i'll catch you in the next one see ya